mis patriotas. Dime qué opinas de esta exclusiva entrevista sin censura. Dios te bendiga siempre. Amigos, en la entrevista, el abogado del presidente Trump en el caso de Nueva York, Jota Capina, habla sobre la posibilidad de una acusación en el caso y las noticias que espera del fiscal. También se discute la credibilidad de los testigos y se cuestiona la integridad del proceso judicial. Tacapina expresa su frustración por el presunto abuso de proceso y la discrecionalidad del fiscal. Aunque se mencionan varios detalles específicos del caso, la entrevista concluye con un enfoque en la preocupación de Tacapina por la integridad del sistema de justicia en general. En última instancia, expresa su consternación por lo que considera un abuso de proceso y abuso de la discreción del fiscal.
two years as, as a lawyer in practice, both as a prosecutor and defense lawyer, I have never seen anything close to this level of abuse of process and abuse of prosecutorial discretion. And it makes me sick to my stomach right now. Let me quote the New York Times. I think liberals like the New York Times. I'm not particularly fond of it myself, but February 13, 2018, uh, talking, this is a quote from Michael Cohn. Uh, I, I am Mr. Trump's longtime special counsel. I have probably served in that role for more than a decade. In a private transaction in 2016, I used my own personal funds to facilitate a payment of $130,000 to Ms. Stephanie Clifford. Neither the Trump Organization nor the Trump campaign was a party to the transaction with Ms. Clifford, and neither reimbursed me for payment either directly or indirectly. The payments to Ms. Clifford were lawful, was not a campaign contribution or a campaign expenditure by anyone. Um, he seems to contradict himself there. Michael Cohen is a walking contradiction. Of course he contradicts himself. Anything he says today, I can find you five different spots where he said something completely different. That, and you just hit the nail on the head, Sean. That's, uh, that's one of the best ones, right? I mean, he did. He, this guy literally took out his boat alone, alone, to pay off this woman um, to resolve a case. And, and by the way, cases get resolved all the time. There's, there's nothing to about that, right? Um, but he took out a loan to do it because he wanted to be the, the president's protector. And you know he was trying, you know, so full well firsthand that he was trying so hard to get to the White House, to have a role in the White House. Um, that didn't quite work out for him. Um, but, you know, he was trying to be the president's protector. What he said right there is true to some extent. He engineered the deal. He did it on his own to a loan. And then went back and, and sort of get reimbursed for that and you know that and other things. Um, and he discussed that with the uh, the, the Trump CFO at the time and worked out a, a, a legal retainer and and voice legal fees over the course of a year. Um, there was absolutely nothing improper about that at all. We want justice here. Everybody should want justice, want fairness, want equal justice, want equal um, application of our laws. Mis apreciados amigos, en nombre propio y de mi equipo, les enviamos los mejores deseos y esperanzas para un futuro próspero y justo para todos los ciudadanos. En tiempos de cambio y desafíos, debemos unirnos como republicanos para defender los valores de la libertad, la igualdad y la justicia para todos. Que cada uno de nosotros cumpla con su deber cívico para asegurar la continuación de una república fuerte y próspera. Que viva Trump Presidente 2024. Y dime tú qué opinas. Únete a la comunidad de noticias republicanas sin censura y mantente informado con la verdad detrás de las noticias en Estados Unidos. Te esperamos.